Hey everyone! Alright, so here's our next video, and it's actually about pigments. Now, with pigments, there are many different companies that make them. They come in different colors, textures, finishes, and then there's also many different ways that you can use them. So this video is just going to give you guys a few tips and tricks on how you can pretty much use your pigments to their full potential, because, again, there's many different ways you can use them, and most people only think of using them on their eye so this will probably help a lot of you and some of you probably already know everything about to talk about so let's just go right ahead and get started now the first thing of course I'm gonna talk about is pigments themselves now many different companies make them like you have Mac makes one like this then you have face front cosmetics you have stargazer uh, Calypso minerals and cryoland like L'Oreal has one in their hip line Tons of companies make them, but it's pretty much like a loose powder. Um, now with these, um, you can mix them many different ways and use them many different ways. Like you can use different mixing mediums. These are different kinds of mixing mediums. This is even considered a mixing medium and even hair products are mixing mediums. So I'm going to talk about ways to use them, but then I'm also going to demonstrate a few different ways. So with the first one, I'm just going to grab a random color. I'm going to use this one, which is True Chartreuse. It's a MAC Pro color. Just picked one of the ones that was in front of me. And I'm going to talk about these two different forms of mixing medium. These are MAC's water-based mixing medium and MAC's face and body mixing medium. Um, this one is great to use on the eyes. You can use it all over the body. This one, face and body. This one is water-resistant, so this one stays on a little bit longer. So if you have oily lids or anything like that, you can use it. You can also use water as a form of a mixing medium. Um, water mixed with glycerin, visine. Again, there's many different kinds, so possibilities are endless. So what you could do is you could take a Petri dish or anything like this and then take your product and you can either pour some out, like tap some out, scoop some out. This brush is clean. I haven't used it on anything. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the pigment and put it on the back of the Petri dish. Now, I'm not going to dip this brush into any more products since I'm going to start using it after, so you can use a spatula, anything like that. Now, with mixing medium, I like to get the brush wet instead of the actual product, and then from here, with the wet brush, I can go onto my Petri dish and then just pick up some of my pigment. I'll just put it on the back of my hand, but you can see that's what it looks like with a mixing medium on its own is right underneath so you can see there's definitely a difference between the two you can see with a form of mixing medium or water whatever you're choosing to use you get a lot more color pigmentation now you can also mix pigments with um, an eyeliner mixing medium or you can do it with a mascara mixing medium to make your own eyeliners mascaras you can also mix your pigments with a moisturizer or your foundation I'm not going to show you guys how to do that one because Risa already did it in a tutorial and she mixed it um, with a moisturizer to show you how to get a dewy look with your skin which also comes in handy for like beach makeup so if you just click right here inside of this little box then that'll take you to her tutorial so that way I don't have to mention it because she already did it so make sure you go check that out now for a lip gloss it's pretty much the same thing would apply you would scoop some out and I'll use a different color this time since you probably don't want green lips but if you wanted green lips you can see this is a way you could do it alright so I scooped out a little bit of cranberry by Cryolin as you can see now I'm gonna take my gloss and I'm just going to put some right next to it on the Petri dish. Now I have the gloss right here, and then I have the pigment right there. This is just a lip brush, and I'm just going to pick up some of the color. don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm just swooshing them together. And then from there, I'll just actually apply this to my lips. You can see... I made my own lip color, so it's easy. Now I'm gonna wipe this off so we can keep going. Now with nail polish and using your pigment, it gets a little tricky with that. You can use a clear nail polish, you can use a colored one, just to add like a little bit more of a frost or a kick of color to it. Now, the way you would do this is if you have a nail polish and you bought this nail polish to mix, if it's got the two little balls in it, you can always pour your pigment directly into the bottle and then roll it to mix up the color like so, and then just use it straight from that. Otherwise, you can use your Petri dish and turn it over. And actually, I'll just 
drop the stuff off. Just turn it this way and pour some nail polish in there and mix your pigment in there. Now, a lot of people are like, well, how am I going to use the nail polish if it's not coming from the jar? You can actually buy brushes that you use on the nail. So you could just use that to stir it and then use it to apply to your nails. Another really great tip is using glitter on your nails. Like, grab this one. Like, Max crystallized yellow just for example or their reflex colors you can just do a base coat and then before it has time to dry you can take a brush I actually use a makeup brush I use max 242 brush then I just pick up some pigment and press it on top and then let it dry and then I'll dust off the extra and then I have very very high sheen metallic nails just to quickly give you guys an idea of how the whole nail trick works with glitter I just very quickly painted my nails black and then I put max reflex transparent teal glitter on top so you can see that's what that looks like so that's another thing to take into consideration there's a link in the sidebar on a tutorial on how you can do this with the glitter Leisha already did it so again don't really have to do it so you can go check out her video if you want to see how to do this now the last way that I'm gonna talk about to use your pigments is with hair product this is just um, a pomade but you can mix it with hair gel pomade or a mousse and the way you would do this is the same as any other way you would scoop out some of your product scoop out some of your pigment and then mix them together and it's usually easier to just mix it in the palm of your hand and I'll actually mix a little so you can see I have it in my hand so now you can see I have this vi really vibrant metallic purple and you can just apply that to your hair now this is gonna be a little bit easier for anyone with shorter hair so guys girls with shorter styles or if you have longer hair it's really great just to add accents into your hair and the great thing is the color will wash out when you shampoo your hair next and you can just apply it to your hair I guess I can do a little now I don't know how well that's gonna pick it up but I don't know if you can actually see the color but it's like a vibrant uh, violet so as you can see it just adds color to your hair you can always go in with a brush if you need to afterwards and then dust some color on there to make it stick to the product a little bit better but that's another thing you can do with your pigment so I hope this video was helpful to all of you remember just play around with the products have fun with them experiment and see what you can do with them uh, yeah so that's pretty much it I hope this was helpful again and I will talk to all of you soon bye